ever seen yourself in the mirror? See, I've been holding back, I've been wanting that Sweet, holy, holy this wig on top of my head i just i look so fucking bad like i'm getting myself together okay y'all see that video coming soon but anyways so i just wanted to explain really quickly that this is actually an older video that i filmed so if you guys peep me talking about my old car and stuff that's because this video was filmed around the time when i did have that car but i no longer have it anymore i just wanted to share this video with you guys because i found it funny and i also haven't uploaded it in almost two weeks because i suck so um enjoy <laughs> Hey what's up you guys, so it's Tara, we're back to my YouTube channel. So this is just going to be a story time that actually took place a few weeks ago when I was just, you know, minding my business. It was actually the night that I had gotten back from hanging out with my boyfriend. Like, his brother had just gotten married. So I went to the wedding, and after the wedding, I was planning to go back to my boyfriend's house to hang out with him. But before I did that, I wanted to go get some food from Taco Bell because I didn't really eat that much at the wedding, and I was honestly starving. So I went and I took a shower. And I did my normal routine and then I financed some money for my mom and I was like, okay, mom, see you later on my way to Taco Bell. And so, you know, I'm driving to Taco Bell and when I get to the red light, you know, I had the ox on and backing it up started playing. I was like, hey, you know how to go and get a bag, don't you? You know how to get a bit mad, don't you? The light turns green and the next, you know, I'm like in the music and I'm just driving, I'm driving, I'm driving. And then I look at my speedometer and I see that I'm going like 50 something. So I slam on the brakes because I just peeped that there's a cop right there. And next thing you know, I drive past him and I'm like, whatever, I slammed on my brakes and I mean, I got my speed back down to 40. So I drive past him and then he turns his lights on and I'm just like um, driving and I'm peering in my mirror and I'm like, I know he's not after me. Um, and so I look back and I'm just like, wow, I know how to get pulled over a donut, you know? And then so I pull over and um, <clears throat> I'm just like, wow, like this is so fucking cute. Like how the hell did he catch me? <laughs> and so I park my car and I'm just like, oh shit, let me turn this off and play some Shawn Mendes so I look smaller, you know? That's pretty sad, but, you know, police officers only see my skin color. They don't see me. So I had to make it look like I'm just like the innocent little black girl, you know, just cruising along in my little Toyota Camry. <laughs> so I started playing In My Blood by Shawn Mendes. <laughs> and then the officer walks up to my window and I roll my window down. And I'm just like, <laughs> hey, big head. And he's just like, Officer Martinez with HPD. And I was just like, uh, obviously, like, are you going to be with IDP? <laughs> I get it because HI. <laughs> Anyways, so um, he's like, um, the reason why I pulled you over is because you were doing 53 and a 40. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> and so then he's just like, can I see your license, please? So then I started thumbing th through all my cards that are on the back of my phone. And I'm just like fumbling them. And then finally, I like hand him my license. And then he looks at me and he's just like, he takes my license and he walks off and i was like seeing that look way too many times um uh, don't think that that faces me sir <laughs> like i'm a fucking disappointment whatever he takes my license and he goes into his car for a little bit then he walks back up to my car he's like i'm gonna let you off with a warning but make sure you slow down and i was like okay dad thanks <laughs> and so then he just walks off and i'm just like woo child and ever since then i've been monitoring my speed and i texted my mom before i got pulled over and i was like um mom i'm getting pulled over if you see me on the news um just know it was this officer <laughs> and she asked me why and then i just told her that it was because of my tail light was busted and my tail light is busted but that's not why i got busted you know and since this story time is so short i can also tell you guys about the very first time that i also got pulled over so this happened summer of 11th grade year i was with my friends at the time we we're gonna call them um carmen karen and bianca so me carmen karen and bianca were it was the last day of school and of course at this time i had my other car and my car had it was a honda it was like a 2003 honda accord i think and it had a sunroof on it and i remember we put the sunroof back and i don't know i don't remember what song we were playing i don't know if it was like khalid or something else but i remember we were at like this intersection where the the crossing guard was and when we were just sitting there, you know, when I was sitting, I was like the first car in the, the thing. And I was getting, I was waiting to turn and they just turned the radio up on my car. Like these, 
<laughs> these are the craziest sets of friends I've ever had but I was like so grateful for them because they like literally made my 11th grade year so much fun because at the time my best friend was going and whenever Myers gone for my life I'm just like oh my god I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do I actually have to go out and communicate with people <laughs> and so I made these friends Carmen Karen and Bianca and they were crazy like they were really crazy and so the last day of school we were all lit or whatever and they were like i'm gonna stand up out the sunroof and i was like oh my god y'all please do not do that like don't do that and they were just like y'all hear something because i don't and so carmen and karen literally get out of the sunroof and they're standing there and they're like dancing and i'm just like oh my god y'all are so crazy and then i started laughing and they sit back down and we just laugh it off and then finally i get to turn and when i turn i see that a police officer also turns behind me and he turns on his lights and i was just like oh my god and when that happened they all just like immediately sat down and the car grew silent and i was like y'all what the fuck this is why i told y'all not to do this and so everybody got quiet and then finally i just parked the car into this parking lot and we're sitting there waiting for the officer to come out and carmen looks over at me and she's like i'm so sorry and i like literally don't even say anything i'm just like you guys, I don't even understand why you're doing this. I'm taking all y'all home because at this point we had planned to go over to um, Karen's house afterwards. And I was like, I don't even want to hang out with you guys anymore. I can't believe you guys would get me pulled over. Like, I'm taking y'all home. Like, y'all are just ridiculous. Like, I told y'all not to do this, blah, 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 blah. Like, just went off on them because I was so, like, upset and I was so scared. And so the officer comes to my door and um, I open it. And he's like, are you serious? And I'm just like he literally seemed like my dad like he was black and you guys know how black fathers are like they're scary and so he was like are you serious right now and i just look at him and i was like i'm so sorry sir i told him not to do it like i started having diarrhea in the mouth like everything just started flowing out of me and he was like can you step out of the car please and i was like oh my god <laughs> yes and so i like i buckle my seatbelt and i get out of the car and i close the door and he's just like do you know that if you would have had to slam on the brakes, she could have went flying through the window and she could have died. And I was like, sir, I'm so sorry. I told them not to do that, but they didn't listen to me, blah, 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 blah. And he was like, I could take your license away from you right now because you only have a, I think he said a class D license right now. And he was like, if I were to put this in, you would lose your license. And I was just like, and I was just like oh no, I don't want to lose my license. <laughs> like not my license. And then next thing you know, like he was just like staring at me like really intensely. And I was just like, I don't know what to do with this situation. Like, I was so terrified. And they're staring at me. And then I hear on his radio, like, my dad's hometown. And I was like, oh, no, he's going to call my dad. If he calls my dad, my dad is going to take my car. No hesitation. Like, he's going to take those keys. He's going to take the car. He's going to take everything, bro. Take me. So then he's like, um don't ever do anything like that ever again i'm not gonna take your license but make sure you drive safe and tell your friends to stop doing stuff like that and i was like okay sir thank you so much and then he gets back in his car and i get back in my car and they're just like what happened and i'm just like i'm just gonna take you guys home <laughs> and then the car gets silent for a little bit the next you know i think of course you guys know how friends are somebody makes a joke and then the whole car starts laughing and then of course i didn't end up taking them home we went back to karen's house and we ended up having a really really fun time um we baked cookie brownies we also went to the pool and then we just hung out at karen's for a little bit and it was super fun and now me and them don't hang out anymore and i actually miss them so much like i don't know they're like the craziest set of friends that i ever had what's even crazier is the fact that i literally manifested that type of friendship into my life i still have the journal to where i wrote down how like i just wanted some crazy friends and then i got some crazy friends and then when i got the crazy friends i was like oh my god i need to go back to having no friends because they're getting me in trouble <laughs> but no it was still fun and now i have like stories to tell you guys so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this two-in-one story time if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe down below and please comment some other kind of videos and see for me so yeah bye guys Get